What is up again, YouTube? Thank you for tuning back into my channel, Bunny D93. Thank you for all my subscribers and everything. I'm coming at you guys right now with a outfit of the day, what I wore to school today, and a hairstyle of the day. Probably like three hairstyles of the day that I can do. They're totally, totally like, like what the freak, Ebony? They're so simple. That's probably what you're gonna say. Uh, yeah. This is what you can do with crochet braids. Uh, if you don't care about the knots, about letting people see your knots. I don't know if you guys can see that. But yeah, you can. I see it on camera. Um, if you don't care about it, then you can do your updo styles. If you haven't left any hair out, I didn't leave any hair out. Didn't want to because of the complications of probably having to color my hair to make it look natural or trying to find the exact match because this would not have been the exact match this is the femi collection uh marley braiding hair in 1b burgundy that wouldn't have been a match if i had got it in the uh Kanekalon hair or the uh number 33 the urban beauty the ombre uh beauty supply store hauls part one and part two you'll see where i had the urban beauty the number 33 hair how it was not matching up to like this color hair that i have in here there it is that's my color hair it and the color just wasn't right with me it wasn't sitting right so this is one hairstyle you can do i have my bow got it from the beauty supply store like a dollar 99 it's a white bow um you can just take some hair from the middle, like if you guys seen my uh, my pick vid, go check that out too so you can see how I did like the little V part. Uh, all I did was take some hair from like the middle and just wrap it around. And I mean you can slick your edges down. My hair just does that uh, when I go to sleep because I have my little satin bonnet. I showed you guys that one time I, t I put the satin bonnet, the little strip, the white strip of the satin bonnet, I put it right at the edge to my forehead and it makes my baby hairs lay down that like never go anywhere for real. They just lay straight down. So it comes out looking like that. Or you can use gel or water, Vaseline, whatever you want to use, conditioner, Miss Jessie's, somebody else. I don't know who has the name, but whatever. Shea Moisture, they're, some good, they're good people too. And I use this uh, silk scarf that I got from the beauty supply store. Also, it was like $1.99 or it was probably like $2.99. I think that one was $2.99 because it was like a big silk scarf. And I just do it in triangle at night and I put it up in like that high, crazy 80s ponytail that I love. And... I go on the bed like that's it you don't really have to do anything unless you want to do it unless you want to do something so this is one hairstyle all I did was take the hair from the middle right here and secured it with the bobby pin right here on the sides and there you go I also did the same on this on this side it's secured behind my ear and that's one style and let me take this bow off before I do the next style. I also have it like pent down in the back to cover up my closure. Because I did do a beehive or a circular braid pattern from the part. And everything just starts going in a circle. So when I did the crochets, I didn't want it to just be like a circle right there. So I just combed it over and I bobby pinned that hair down. So hopefully you guys can see this. It's right there. Hopefully y'all saw that, but y'all know what I mean. Um, the next style you can do, you can take some hair. I don't take like this much. And section it off and just wrap it around scrunchy or you can do a bobby pin with this and have it sitting up like that on the sides and it still look natural you know, you can probably just cover that up a little bit more. But me, you, you guys know I don't care. Um, 
the other one that I liked <laughs> because I don't really give a crap about the knots because I tell everyone yeah I did crochet braid and by saying the word braid I feel free to show you you know the knots that I have. Now I can see if they were some nappy knots and you could see the braid and everything but I feel that the way I did mine you can't see my braid. The only thing you can see is my hair color and the rest of my roots. So I feel that it is okay with me. Well yeah that's how I feel. Um, but if it's not with you you can just keep the hair going around or you can just keep it down like that. Um, what I'm going to do is flip my head over and do my hair like that and you can put it up in a ponytail going in the middle or you can put it in a ponytail going to the side and all you do is just grab the hair you have to grab it real real tight so you can get all of it in the hair That's one, and you can do like a scarf. You guys know how to do the little Aunt Jemima scarf. But you guys already saw how I did the ponytail. I mean, you can tame that down. You can curl it. You can rod it like that. And put like a little headband right there. This is kind of how I do it at night. And I mean, your scarf can be like cheetah print or, you know, anything. That's like the biggest side ponytail puff I ever had in my life. But yeah, it kind of comes in your face. Or you can put it to the back, kind of up. But with this hair, if you um, cut it in half, because it doesn't tell you how many inches it is. If you don't cut it yourself even shorter, I mean, it may stop like whatever the length is. That's how, you know, how the length will be right there. Um, that's one style. Hope you guys can see that. I'm coming all the way around. Um, trying to think of something else. What else can I do? That was kind of fast. Uh, today I also did use my Ambi skincare because we can mark today as letting you guys see how it can start to diminish your dark spots because I have a lot of them. And when I found out about this product, I used it and it helped a lot. This is my second time using this product because the other one I used it all up because it was so good. So I do recommend that for dark spots. Um, if you have sensitive skin, this is the normal skin one. They have a sensitive skin one. And a oily skin, I think, it's, it's good with me. Um, now this, this is the Clinique. Uh, it broke me out. Not as in a bad breakout. I just had like little dry patches here and there. And little red bumps kind of down here and up in here and kind of around my nose and the next week I didn't use it and I didn't have any and the week after that I used it and they came back again so it didn't give me any like breakouts as in dang it I'm itching like a squirrel is scratching my face you know or anything but it was just like that so yeah you guys can use that if you want to but I have my regimen it's very good check out my pore refining and uh refreshing toner videos coming up and my MAC lipstick and Viva Glam 5 lips, lip gloss coming back up. So thank you guys for tuning back in. Don't forget to read Romans 116. We are not ashamed of the gospel. I love you guys. Thank you for everything. I think that was it. Remember you can do whatever you want with your hair because it is your hair. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't. Love you guys. Bye.